episode 19 of Skyrim Legendary. Today, we're picking up where we left off. And, uh, where did we leave off? I don't fully remember. Let's see. Sound. Ah, oh, shit. Lockpicks. Work on pickpocketing. Oh, she caught me. That's the one. There we go. That was a little too easy. Still on legendary. about that? Is that a little better? Is it still really low? Mic check, mic. Let's turn the mic up a bit. <clears throat> Levels. Turn it up. A hair. Like right about there, so. Cool, cool. Is that mouse cursor in there? It is. Let's get rid of that. <clears throat> there we go. Now the mouse cursor is going. All right. Now we're off to do our stuff. Oh, I remember now. We're off to do a Dark Brotherhood quest. To kill this guy. And then I'm actually going to go back up here and uh, raise that one chick as a zombie and have her do my dirty bidding. Wherever she went off to. Yeah. There we go. Raw, raw, raw. Where's that dumbass? Get down here. There? What is she doing? Fucking retard. No help whatsoever. <clears throat> Useless. So fucking lootly useless. You can't beat me. All 
Aw, oh, what the hell? And that dumb bitch still isn't here. Fuck. Turn around. Oh. Just barely. Again. There we go. What end this All right, and then a zombie. Be retarded now. I need you to run out there and die for me. <clears throat> Damn. There we go. Alright, go get him. Iron Nodachi. That sounds cool. Point in conjuration. Go get him. No, not me, him. I'll have your head. I can't see anything in there, really. Isn't there another dead guy? Whoa, really? Did you kill him? No, you didn't fucking kill him. Just gonna sneak around you. Oops, sorry if that was loud. You don't see anything. You don't hear anything. Just gonna sneak around you. Almost there. Are you serious? Wow. Here. Hmm. Fuck it. Let's go. Oh. Ah. Yeah. What's up? 
Aegis Bane. I'll disenchant that. Alright, there's not a lot left here that I actually want to do. Just came in for him. Alright, so then we're off to uh, Markarth again to tell Miri that we killed him. I decided not to kill the other chick because it was a dumb fucking reason. She didn't give me a good reason. There we go. Yeah, she didn't give me a good reason, so we're actually not going to kill the other person. Skyrim crashing or something. <laughs> All right, let's see now. Miri, Murray, whatever her name is. Hello. Well, what news? Is Elaine? That bastard got exactly what he deserved. But last I heard, Nilsine is still alive. So I guess you decided not to kill her as well. I have to admit, I'm disappointed. Here's the payment for killing Elaine. And nothing for letting Nilsine live. Just remember, that was your decision. Oh shit. Dumb bitch. Resolving my problem. Go on, walk away. Really? God damn. Guess can't kill her, I guess. Bum ba da dum bum 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 ba da dum bum bum. Alright. Dark Brotherhood quests are good, easy experience. We actually need to go to like White Run or something and go and get some more spells. I need calm and uh <laughs> parkour, right? Hell yeah, man. Let's see. We should go to White Run first and pick up some spells. There's a few spells I need. I'm surprised I didn't take any damage from any of those jumps right there. Must have been just like within the just within the range that you don't uh, take any hits. Hopefully he's not sleeping like a fucking lazy bum. He should be awake. Yeah. What are you still doing here? The Jarl's spells and incantations for those with the talent to guess. What are you still doing here? Um, conjure, familiar, play back, not courage, fear. Uh, mage light, muffle, random corpse, soul trap.
Alright, that should be good enough. Barrel. To bleak falls barrel with you. The Yarl is not. Shut up. Neither I hate him, he's so annoying, dude. Now that we have all these spells, we're gonna go back and do some more Dark Brotherhood quests. Get some more levels. Hopefully we'll find an enchanted weapon soon. Oh wait, no, I said that we only made our own weapons. I haven't done any kind of training on any of that stuff, so that's not exactly good. But, uh, we can figure something out. Silly decision to get in all that trouble. <laughs> oh well. Huh? Where are you done? I'll be done in like uh, another half hour or so. And then you can watch cartoons. Something weird's going on with the game. It's it keeps giving me these like loading screens of death. There we go. Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? Very well. <coughs> I respect your discretion. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more... Mm, personal nature. It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad, but it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber <clears throat> and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. You must understand. If Cicero is turning the others against me, against us, our family would not survive such division. Dear sister, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. <laughs> That's disgusting. No objections then? <clears throat> Good. Go now, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. That's fucking disgusting. Go, quickly. Hide in the coffin before Cicero and the traitor meet.
Hello, Miss Corpse. Don't mind me. Are we alone? Yes. <laughs> No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. <clears throat> the others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex, <laughs> perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you? Have you... have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. <laughs> you will talk when you're ready, won't you? Guys, fucking won't nuts. you? Sweet night, <clears throat> mother. Poor Cicero, dear Cicero, such a humble servant, but he will never hear my voice, for he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bones. I give you this time. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the word. He has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? What treachery? <laughs> defiler, debaser, and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! She... She said that. She said those words. To you, darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know, mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then, it's true, she's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> All hail the listener. <laughs> By Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who is Cicero talking to? 
Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. Oh, I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but <coughs> she didn't speak to me. Oh, no. She spoke only to her. To the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true. It's true. The Night Mother has spoken. The silence has been broken. The listener has been chosen. When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Please tell me you haven't. Cicero said he spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? By Sithis. And? What did she say? Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Valenrude. That I have heard of. And I know where it is. Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Oh, cry, baby. Sister. Well then, as it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy <coughs> assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lerbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. Good luck. <laughs> and try not to get yourself killed. All right. Well, that was a lot of dialogue. Please. So he's going to be easier, I think. It's the other guy that's a little bit harder. Damn. Alright. Let's get going. Two-hander. A war axe. So it's not a dagger then. Alright. Oh shit. It's a fucking spriggan! Oh 
<laughs> Fuck Spriggins, dude. I don't even have enough magic to cast this spell. That figures. Alright. Let's see. Come out of there. Where's the necromancer that bred you? Random tomb. Hmm. That's cool. All right, he's off this way. The vampire. Tell you when I'm done. Is he here? He's here. Hmm. This should prove to be interesting. There's a bunch of people here. Or maybe there isn't a bunch of people here. Alright. Can't a man have a bit of privacy? No. Get out of here. This is the last time I'll see it. Get out. Okay. I guess I blew that. He just happened to be looking right at the door as I came in. Well. Oh. oh, there he is. <clears throat> see if we can't get him. I guess I didn't do that very well. Wow, he's got a lot of life. Oh boy. Let's see.
Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Come on over here. Dude. Whoa, man. He's mad. He's going to take forever to kill, too. Ah. There's another person? Oh, that's no fair. Two vampires? Ah, oh, he's stuck on the thing. I'm gonna kill your buddy here. Then I'll kill you. Today, huh? I'm almost out of arrows, man. You better die. Where's the chick? I hear a chick. Stuck in the water, dumb broad. If you're going to be stuck in the water, the least you can do is hold still. You're outmatched.
What's up? Yeah, I'm up here. You won't get away. Sure I will. Just come out. Yeah. Really gonna do this. Really gonna do this. Where's your husband? Whoever he is. Didn't want to kill you too. Just here for your husband. But if you wanna die too, you're more than welcome to die too. And I'll actually res you as a zombie and make you go kill your husband. Sounds good to me. <sighs> oh, you finally changed it up. Ah, oh, you went way the hell out there, didn't you? Come on out. You won't get away. Quit moving. Can you get up here? Wow. Okay, I was gonna say. That's fucking retarded. You won't get away. Alright. Where are you? There you are. I think I left your husband over here somewhere. That's what's up. Alright, where's your husband? I need more mana. Get him, pet dog. Get him, dog. Go. DOG, the incredible dog. Wolf, whatever. <clears throat> oh, yes. Good boy. Thank you. Alright, so that's that. Let's go rob their house. That took, what, fucking 20 minutes to kill those guys? Jeez. Alright. <laughs> oh, you want some candy? You can wait till after dinner. Not a lot of 
stuff in here. There you go. stuff in here. There is a lot of stuff in there. Nothing worth taking. Alright, Morthal. We can take a carriage to Morthal, right? I think so. I think we can take a carriage to Morthal. <sighs> what are you just copying me? Yeah. <laughs> Done. Yeah, the show. I've still got two more shows to do. Okay, can I watch you? If you want, I'm gonna get something to eat. I was gonna let you watch a cartoon after this. Okay. I can take you to any of the. Where do you want to go? Morthal. Climbing back and we'll be off. Climbing back and we'll be off. Better bundle up. This may keep up for a while. Hey, no, no, no. Go jump in your room. Uh-huh, sure you're not. Alright. Morthal. What's the Jarl going to do about The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is being sold. Enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We've no need for wizards in midst. We've no need for wizards in our midst. There's enough problems as Unless it's is. about the mill. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to a den. The people here work so hard, and they never allow themselves a moment of fun. It's such a pity. It won't last forever, though. These people are like cattle. Gathering? Hmm. What can we do for you? Alright, so where is the guy I came here to kill? In here, huh? The Moorside Inn. Not too long ago. It's a real pity about his wife and kid. The screen broke I'll be right back. Someone's at the door, I guess. Most folk won't go near it now for fear it's cursed. Okay, yeah, I guess there was someone at the door. 
Krogar claims it was a hard uh, fire. I can't hear anything Some with these damn headphones in. Started it himself. Oh, with his wife That's and child inside. Say. See, he's living with Alva now. That started the day after the fire. It ain't right moving in with a new love the day after your kin die like that. Aye. Our Jarl would sure like to know if he did, though. Might even pay to find out. Hmm. Lorbach? Fancies himself a bard. He... If I had any customers, I'd be worried about him annoying them. But, well, <laughs> look around. LeBrock. Filthy pick. Filthy pickpocket. No, shut up. You're gonna give me the ring. There you go. See, I told you. Never should have Oh. Him, not me. Damn it. Alright, you wanna go outside? Yes. Go ahead. I can't open the door because it's so hard for me. Time to end this little kid. You know what? There's actually probably an easier way of doing this. One second. Okay, I've got a better idea actually of what we can do. We can um, make him mad and then just run the fuck away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it'll be someone else's fault, not mine. I'm just sitting here eating food. Oh my goodness! There's a killer on the loose. Kill him. Not me. What the hell? Are they there? What? Are they there? Okay, that's very cool. Ugh, fuck. Okay. Um, we're gonna do this. Uh, later. Because, as you can tell, my house is blown up. So, we'll do this later. Thanks for watching. We'll be back um, in like 40 minutes to do Tuesday's show. And then after I pick my wife up from work, we will be doing um, today's show. And then maybe some StarCraft later tonight or something, I don't know. Anyways, that's it for right now. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. You want to say bye? Bye. They can't see you over there. You got to stand right here.